Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Love Line. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guys, let's just start by saying we have been a hot topic, honestly. Oh, we recently. really have. Wait, the Love Line itself. Be- before, before we even jump right into our guns today, right. you're watching the YouTube video. I apologize for my hair. I woke up, took a shower, turned my alarm off because I was like, oh, I won't fall back asleep. Trinity calls me. Where are you? I'm sleeping. No. <laughs> I have naturally curly hair. For those of you that don't know, it's literally still wet. The mic, like the, the headset is literally stuck yeah. to my head. But no, yeah. No, her hair looks bad. I mean, no. <laughs> I know. I mean, it looks good. I was gonna say, guys, it's not that bad. Not, it's terrible. It looks bad. It's terrible. No, literally. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, go ahead. No, I meant that it looks good. Now we're gonna hang that on my head. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we are a hot topic as of recently. We, no, seriously, guys, I don't know what it is, but like, no, I, I don't know what's in the fucking water. We've been getting like new followers, right? It's crazy. And people have been talking to us about our show, and like, people will come up to us and be like, "I love how open you are," and whatever. And yeah. you know, like, not that anyone's been giving like bad feedback, but some people have. You know, giving feedback. They've been that giving it's their like, feedback that you know we we say a lot on the show, and I just want to say that I yeah. There was like one comment that was like made to me. I said I wasn't gonna say because it's not bad. Like no 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 not bad. It wasn't meant bad at all. Like I'm just gonna go into it a little bit. Okay. I was told like more boys would come up to me or would be more or less intimidated would to be talk more inclined to, me, to come up to her or like would be less intimidated to talk to me. If I if they knew I wasn't gonna talk about them on the podcast, the thing is yeah. yes, I do talk about people on here, but like the good ones. I do not share. Also, we also keep it anonymous, and also you have yeah. to think about it. Like, if you don't want someone to say something bad about you, don't, don't be a bad person. Don't act like an asshole. Don't act like a dick. Yeah. Sorry. And then another yeah. thing about it is, literally, I love this. Like, this is why we do it, is to gain... We like, want to have we conversations want, going. We yeah. want to talk about those hot topics, and because, we want people to because understand that, like, we're not doormats. And, like, also, like, I've been through a lot. Ariana's been through a lot. Yeah. We talk about it, and we want to talk about the things that people don't want to talk about because we feel that we, we want you like, guys yeah. to know, and we like, know what you to do all in go these through situations. It. You all go through it, too, so we're not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Like, no, like, you no. act like a dick at the club. Like, I'm going to tell you straight up, you actually like got right. laughed at you at the diner. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And like, we would never yeah. dox anyone or anything. I would like, never, would name never drop. say that. Never name drop unless it's like no, a boyfriend. No, but, you know, like, the thing yeah. is, like, it's just like when you're telling your friends, like, we feel like you guys are our friends and we're going to talk to you so guys about this. So I'm just going to tell you straight up. So, like, right. Yeah, like, if that means, like, less people will come up to me at a bar because they know that I have a podcast, then that's, like, filtering out the trash that was going to be nasty Absolutely. to me anyway. Like, if you're worried yeah. that if you're worried your I'm actions talk about you, are going to be talked about on the love line, don't act a certain maybe way. Maybe you should rethink about your actions. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying, like, because I appreciate the comment because it made me step back and, like, take a look at it. No, absolutely. I'm not saying, it's not bad in any way. I'm very close. I'm it's very not good the friends comment, with the person that said the comment. It's just in general. It's just, yeah. Like, yeah. The, like, it's, like, one of our friends that, like, told us. And, like, I, like, you know what I mean? Like, he told us the comment, but, like, I, I do have to say, though, I do disagree that more guys would come up to you without the podcast. I also think. I don't know if it was worded like that. It was also Yeah, drunk. it's something, like, something that, like that. But either way, I just disagree because also, like, not everyone knows, knows that we have yeah. this, and I feel like the people who do listen to us, a lot of them are very close with us, Yeah. so they kind of know what to expect from this, and also, if they do know, it kind of weeds everyone out, because you want the serious contenders. Exactly. People who are going to, you know, want to be the best they can And they're be not going to want to be someone that has to watch and make sure they don't accidentally end up in the love line because they're mean or right. they're nasty. Right, no, absolutely. And you know what? I yeah. mean, at least for me, like in the past, like a lot of the guys I've talked yeah. to that have known that I've had the podcast have been very supportive of it. And yeah. they actually, it's funny, they like want to be featured, which yeah. I think is, is nice. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I just want everyone to know that like we do this to have hot takes like exactly. the purpose of this is to have hot takes because we just want to be as open and honest with you all as we possibly like can that's because I don't want to take out things that happen to me just because I'm like oh like maybe a guy won't come up to me now with a bar no like I like literally yeah. I want to tell you guys everything because I just think I have a very different perspective from Trinity and Trinity has a very different perspective yeah. from me especially like these days you know oh so, yeah like, so I just think like it's very very important to have these conversations with you guys and that's why we'll never name drop anyone never like, you know what I mean no but it's like the thing yeah. is like people come up to me and like like the main like compliment that always sticks out in my mind about the love line is like that we're so open and we're so honest yeah. and we're so raw and like people come up to me they're like wow Trin like you really spill your whole love life on the love line like I do and it's kind of scary but it's I very feel important. like yeah. it helps you guys and like the feedback that I get that yeah. it's helped someone even if it's just one person like I'm gonna keep doing it and that's just like how I feel about the matter and the topic that's how I feel um, too I'm just yeah. you know what I'm saying and honestly and obviously something is working when we started this podcast we had 50 followers we're up to 121 
on. Like, yeah, I'm like, we're gaining like, oh, no, and but we're like, continuing to gain and like, think, we're going to keep going up. And so. I just think like the, I just think it's very important to have the honest conversations and tell you like straight up what happened, why I did what I did, why I led to the kid in the di- Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like straight up why right. I did it. Like, cause it's not like, I'm not being a bitch. I'm not being like a no. bully about it. It's just like, that's what happened. That's how I felt. And that's exactly what I did. And I just yeah. think a lot of you, and I know a lot of people at home too, literally are probably sitting there like. Uh, you've definitely laughed at a kid's Instagram in a diner. Like, you've definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's a and part it's like, of life. You know it's what? literally it's, a part of life. And, and we're not going to hide that from you. You know, we're not going to be like, oh, like, we're perfect and we, like, we, yeah. We, like, and we admit, like, should have we laughed at him in the diner? Probably not. No, it's not even that, Ariana. It's, it's just the fact that, like, everyone has been through these so situations. Much, yeah. Like, exactly. you guys have all been through it. You've had a bad date. You've had a guy ghost you. You've had a guy try to take you home on the first night. We won't put up with that. Exactly. And, and we, we are share going to spread with you. awareness exactly. to you. Exactly. And tell you guys what we did in these situations because I think like back and like I think back when I was like 17 like when I first started you know dating and like things yeah. like that like I would have loved a podcast like this to just go through to just like have someone to go to and like understand what they went through yeah. so that I knew what to prepare for because I didn't know what exactly. to do and now I can we can pass down our knowledge to you on, on you know what to do and if you have any questions literally Instagram or if you ever like you know what I mean Instagram message us on there yeah, genuinely absolutely. if you need like advice like We'll dish it out to you. Like, we'll tell and you straight we up how it is. To, yeah. yeah, if you have any topics you guys want us to talk about, we would love to get more involved with you guys, more engaged. Yeah, tell um, us what topics you, you want. Like, and DM us on Instagram, the love line. Literally, let us know. Like, if you have any topics you want to talk about, like, please, like, let us know. We're open to anything. Absolutely. Because obviously, obviously, we're an open freaking book on this podcast. Oh, we're very obviously. open. Like, we're open yeah, book, but... We're down to talk about anything. But, um... Anyway, to like, anyway. anyway, to shift gears, as I yes. said in the beginning, sorry for my appearance this morning. Just a little PSI. No, <laughs> literally before yeah. I meant you looked good, I meant it wasn't bad, <laughs> anyway. guys, if you're watching on the YouTube. Just <laughs> another thing, because that's not what I meant. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Because I like your hair like this. I never see Ariana's hair curly. I, I never. And I wear, love it. No one knows that it's curly because I always straighten it. I love it. it. But anyway, I'm walking. You let again. her have her moment. I need what? Let her have her moment. Oh, I thought. Yeah. You, I don't know what I thought you said. I thought you said a little. I don't even know what I. No, thought you let said. her have her moment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course. Okay. But anyway, continue. I, anyway, I'm like on the phone training. I'm like, don't make fun of my hair when I walk in. Like, I just woke up. I rolled out of my bed. I threw on this outfit. Like, I literally didn't even know I had yeah. it. My mom put it in the dryer, so it looks like high waters. Like, it's just really like, it's okay. like it's like a move today. But anyway. I just, I was like, oh, like, I just, I just don't feel like the best today. Like, you know, like, yeah. look wise, I walk in to the building, right? And like, there's this kid like in front of me who was so far ahead of me. So I didn't like think he would like hold the door. Right. For me. So, like, whatever. The first door he didn't hold, the second door he didn't hold. Plan you know, when you come up the steps, there's like a second door. Yeah. Like, if you guys don't know, like, when you come up the steps, there's a door at the bottom and then there's like a door again at the top. So we didn't hold the bottom one. The top one, he's waiting at the door and then he just like, he like opens it and like, and like, like he's like opens it. And I was like, oh, like thanks. And he's like, oh, like of course. He's like, oh, like you look so pretty today. I was like, thank you. Like, I, like and it wasn't even like because you even, are pretty. But no, like you know what? Like it was, <laughs> it was just she, so nice. Cause I, I know, literally fell hard on the nice. kid. Literally made my whole day. He's like, oh, like I was like, oh, thanks. Like you're welcome. Like by I the love way, that. like you look so pretty. I was like, oh my god. Like I was like, thank you so much. He's like, yeah. Like I have to go to class, but like you do look so pretty. I was like, thanks. No, you like, really that are just pretty though. Morning. And I tell her all the time. I'm like, you really are so pretty. Like, un- like know it. And I'm telling you, like, <laughs> oh, God, we had a whole talk the other day. Oh, God. I'm not going to get too much into it, but, yeah, like, we had not, a girl's, yeah. we're not, but we had a girl's night the other night, and it was me, Ariana, and Emily, and we yeah. literally, guys, had, like, the best talks that night. That night was just, like, literally, it went in on everyone. It wasn't even just me, like, not in on everyone, but, no, like, No, but it was just, like, like we, we all were had, all, like, like, honest and open about, like, shit we're going through, yeah. and, like... And then I was given great advice, so I do, like, mantras now, guys. I do, like, mm-hmm. now, like, anytime someone, I'm not saying the name, does something to me, like, I'll literally put, like, I'll like, take, like, a Snapchat video, I'm like, no, like, he did this, yeah. this, this, and that, and, like, I'll put it in, like, my, like, my, for my eyes only, so it's, yeah. like, I could, you know what I mean? No, when I've been talking to her about, um, yeah. like, manifesting, I'm kind of, like, a spiritual bitch, you know, like, low-key. Yeah, I didn't know that. I wouldn't have picked that up Yeah, her, no, I keep it on the low. I don't know why, I just, like, it's just something that, yeah. like, you know, it's my, you know, I don't know. But, but, but anyway. To, but back to our other episode of Value of Friendship like literally sitting there and having the open honest conversation yes it's so refreshing because especially because no, like, i didn't even even though like normally you guys know i've been crying for two weeks like i didn't even yeah. i didn't even cry when we had that conversation because i was just like okay because trinity told me something about someone that i didn't yeah. know i'm not gonna get into i'm not like that's not like my business to air yeah. or whatever she told me about someone doing something at the point that i was like i really really like them yeah and then i like my old self maybe like three months ago would have been crying flipping out i was like yeah. i was like oh like whatever like and i just think that was like a good step for me to be like okay like yeah I, it was something that had to be said for yeah. her to understand 
the difference between reality and also like who you think the person is in your head because that's something that I struggle with like really really bad and it took me months to like with my ex it took me months to kind of come out of that illusion that was like my number one problem like the not in love with the, like in love with the idea of a it's person. the it's idea like, being in love with the idea of a person is a very mentally draining because you're it's, like why are they a, doing yeah. this and it's like you have to realize they don't owe you anything so like no. you know what i mean so it's like they can do whatever they want like you know what i mean like you don't owe me anything like the idea of you in my head has nothing to do with you yeah so it's like okay like i have to like get over that little notion in my head and look at the person for what they really are yeah and then just like hearing the stuff like the thing that trinity told me and then just thinking back to like all the other stuff i'm just like okay Okay, like I gotta cut the bullshit as I told you guys right, cut the bullshit, right. I gotta cut the bullshit. and it just like it sucks too cause it's like obviously like you can't make anyone feel a certain way like that's a given but and it's, it's like, like you also have to understand like like for me what I do too is like if someone feels a certain way I'm kind of just like yeah like that sucks but like that's just how you feel and like I can't change that yeah. and like getting over like the fact that like say you feel a certain way about someone and they don't feel the same way or whatever yeah. whatever it is it's like it's just hard to get over like the idea that you have exactly and the illusion because, of that person yeah it's like, not really yeah, i'm not going into details because i don't know who it is but no. anyway like i literally yeah so it was just like i think the old me like t- like not even not even two months ago, like a month ago would have been like very upset about yeah. what you told me and i would have cried yeah, absolutely but i was no like, i know that i was like oh like yeah. i was like oh like okay like i literally was like okay like yeah. whatever like because it's not like you know what i mean like, yeah i just feel like it had to be said and yeah. it kind of like snapped you back to be like oh okay uh, yeah because it was like even like for me like my suspicions were right too, but anyway, we're not gonna get to it. But yeah. anyway, so yeah. Anyway, um, we did a little switching gears again. We did a little Porta Friday at home because it's closed. It they was were closed for renovations. renovations, but it's okay. We're what going renovations? Back. I'd love to know what we're going back Friday and Saturday. Yes, because yeah. we were Both thinking days. AC for DJs. Like we didn't want to go all the way to the pool after dark, so we're not doing it. We're gonna do two days port in row. All the annoying people that are ported on a Saturday, they go to mom with no offense. Um, on Saturday are probably yeah. gonna be an AC. Like, yeah, the older annoying, and ones. then it's also yeah. gonna be like the older annoying one like the 30 year olds that are like kind of creepy yeah. well we did did we tell them that we met an nfl player do we tell you guys that oh i don't think we did guys we met an nfl player we literally Steelers. met yes, an nfl player um like two, two but the last time the last time the or no i think we outside. did because he posted on the instagram i think we did oh, we posted on the instagram yeah but we said we were gonna talk about it and we never did but we met an nfl player we did, we did. iconic very um, nice this girlfriend was also very nice too she was very cool. sweet she was like from the area that's yes. why he was there yeah because i was confused no i no she was telling me she's like yeah like, my, like i live over here that's why like my boyfriend yeah so like because he was on the steelers or he is on the steelers so i was something pat fry Muse, awesome. shout out to you. Oh. It was great meeting you. I love how you just knew the pronunciation. Oh, my <laughs> boyfriend is obsessed yeah. with football, so of course I know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah, iconic. But yeah, Porta was closed. Um, yep. This, like, we're doing a two day. Um, we're to Bender Friday, Saturday. I'm, oh, so, I'm excited. so excited. The to talk DJs about that. are supposed to be good this week, so I'm very, very excited. I can't wait. Like, you know, they're opening up the other room too. The it's, other side. It's I know. Two rooms. So normally in Porta, they have like one room open, but on Halloween or like special occasions, yeah. like New Year's, they'll open up two rooms. Two rooms are being open. But opened. the DJ on the other side, he was there, I think, like one time. He yeah. was so good. And like the two DJs on the Friday yeah. side are so good. So I literally cannot wait. So like, I'm, I'm, you're I'm, around Porta Friday. I'm so excited. No, literally. Like you're around Porta Friday. Yeah. Meet us, meet us in the Abbott room. Yeah, meet come us meet Abbott us. Room. We'll hand out some business cards. We will. Um, we iconic. Do. Yeah. DJs are great. I'm so freaking excited. Also, I'm so excited. Also, guys, so the at home porter that we had this weekend, let me just say it was so fun. Also. I found a playlist on Spotify yeah. called Porta Friday or Bust. So if that's you and you listen, thank you. Like, it literally, literally you. had every single Porta song. It was like, and everyone was coming up to me. They're like, yeah, it was so nice. Like the music is so good. I was like, guys, it's really not me. Yeah. It's this playlist. Like but before we get into Porta, so good. before we get into Porta at home, um, I think we should talk about Trinity's fear of ground beef and how I got her over. <laughs> oh, God. okay. Wait, let me give them a little preface <laughs> okay. so they okay. don't know that. Obviously, okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Obviously, you guys don't know this. We don't really talk about like my food. On here, I'm a very picky person when it comes to food. And I eat things I very odd, not, so it's like... She yeah, eats anyway. chicken nuggets cold and puts fucking ice in milk. Anyway. <laughs> okay, relax. I <laughs> I do not like ground beef. I don't like it. Yeah, she hates it. I literally hate it. I think the texture is disgusting. The taste is disgusting. I don't like sausage, anything like that. I have not eaten ground beef, and I kid you not, 10 years. So, on Friday, yeah. I... I was like, you know what? Like, invite like Chris and Jimmy over for dinner. And then it was like our house, yeah. Chris and Jimmy. I make sauce, so- like I make like sauce, and then I make the sauce for the sauce too. and the yeah. pasta. Yeah. So I go to Trini. I'm like, you don't have to like if you don't eat it. Like, just try it for me. <laughs> and she's like, okay, but like, 
the meatballs were very crispy. I put sauce on it. I put a little yeah. pecorino romano grated cheese on it. And I'm like, here, just try it. She look. There's a. It's such a funny video. She like. She like recorded herself eating it. She cuts it. She's like looking at. It, she puts it in her mouth. I'm like, I think she wants I to go spit it out. No, I almost spit it out. And, and then, then I tasted her it. Her face was like, it's good because it's something like about yeah. the texture too that I just hate. Like it's just like. There's some things I can't it's eat. It's the yeah. thought of it. Like, yeah. it's a thought of, like, the... And then, then when she was, like, making them, I was, like... She like, heard the noise of me mixing. Bro, it's not it was just... just I can't, but it even looked disgusting. Yeah, I can't out my dad's meatball recipe, You know but, what like, I think it, was, it is, too, yeah. though? She fried them. Yeah, why would I not fry them? My mom... I think I'm traumatized for my mother. No offense. Love you, Mama Shan, so much. <laughs> oh, my God. She makes them, like, like she, softer, you know? Wait, does she boil them in the sauce? I don't know what she does, but they're not crispy. Like they don't oh, have like they that have crispy. To be crispy. So good. I did only have one, but I think one is a good step Separate, in the right direction yes, to maybe even trying like a burger one day. I would love to try yeah, one. And I'll make see. you burgers one day. Yeah. And then the sauce. I was like nervous because again, Chris, your boyfriend is very Italian. He was. Yeah. I don't cheat on my nonna sauce sauce often, but this was very very he good. Liked it. I was like, he liked and then it. I made cannolis. Yeah. Him. Who else ate one? Him and. Justin, their other housemate, ate one. Oh, that's another thing. I fucking hate cannolis. I don't know if anyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Probably not. She made fucking cannolis, and she was like, <laughs> you have to try one. And I was like, okay, like, I'll try one. I was like, don't get offended if I don't like it, because, like, I don't like cannolis. Tried it. So good, because, this is, guys, listen, the reason why I don't like cannolis, I feel like a lot of them are very powdery, and they're not very sweet. Yeah. And, like, for me, like, if I'm having a dessert and I'm wasting calories, give me a brownie. Exactly. Give me something sweet. I might as well have something sweet and delicious. Sometimes yeah. I'll have them, and they're very powdery, and, like, they're, yeah. like, eh, like, it's just not my thing, but, like, she made them. It was, like, the perfect balance of, like, sweet yet not. And the shell was like crispy. There was the chocolate chips in them. It was honestly like a ten out of ten. I would give honestly. Thank you and it was so really much. Good. I, I also yeah. love the fucking lemon things you make. Oh yeah, so I make the everything from drops. scratch. Like the cannolis, I make the shells. I make the filling. Lemon drop cookies, I make those from scratch also. So like those are my favorite. icing everything. I think those are my favorite. Really? I think they're so good. Do you want them today? I can make them. They're quick. Yes. Okay, I'll make them when we get home. They're so, bro. Yeah. They're literally so good. Like oh my god. Anyway, I'll make them when we get back. I'll yeah. Make them so but anyway, back to at home porter. Sorry, at home porter. Think, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Which, what you guys really want to hear? Yes. Not, not Trinity's yes. eating preferences. Sorry, but fine, but how to say it? Because you yeah. know what? It's one of the most iconic moments of my life. Ten and years one of mine. I, the way I, my cooking got Trinity to eat a meatball like that. Literally. It would if anybody's and cooking. And a cannoli. I'm just saying, if yeah. anybody's cooking wood, it's yours. She Stop. is like a chef. I'm not even trying to gas her up. She <laughs> is a chef. Like the stuff. I I've never not liked one of your meals though. I've never not liked anything that you've made ever. Oh my god, stop. I've like loved it. Like I'm not even just saying that. Like literally iconic. I love that for me. Mama Shan is quaking in her boots. The, the pesto chicken pasta, that one was good. Do you want to I didn't even tell you what I made for lunch yesterday. <laughs> pastina. You made pastina? Okay. I, so I all, made pastina. So for all my Italians out there, you know growing up, if you don't have the pastina yes. with the broth, you have pastina yes. with butter and cheese. Like, and I recreated cheese and a little it. bit of milk. So fucking good. Yes. And I made her have it for the first I time. I recreated it just how she made it. Was it good? It was so good. Right? And it was like filling my mom at time. She's like, oh, this is really good. I was like, thanks, Ariana, for giving me the recipe. We no, literally, get- everyone has said to me now, like, literally, I think Emily said it. And she's like, as my going out, like, moving out of this house gift, like, can you make a Jersey Ev recipe book? And I'm like, I can, like, if you want. No, actually, can you please? Because I really want the one with the pancetta. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys, I make pancetta pasta. Oh, pancetta, sorry. No, that's okay. I'm You're learning. Like, I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning. I make pancetta pasta with red, um, yeah. with red pesto sauce, with a little yeah. bit of peas in it, with rigatoni, and mix it. It's <gasps> so good, guys. It's literally the best pasta I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like it's literally. I love how you like that one out of all of them. I don't know why. I, th- I just like the yeah. flavor. I don't know. It's like so. And then like yeah, the pesto chicken one was good with the when spaghetti. When she makes yeah. it each week, like she's like, oh, make it this way. I'm like, all right, I'm coming. Like see there. Yeah. Oh, very exciting. Um. Yeah. So anyway, back to at home porter. Sorry. Sorry. We Sorry. Off the rails. I'm just, I'm a little hungry. If you guys can't tell too. Anyway. We're going to ramen today. I'm so excited. Yeah. Hype. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So sorry. Yeah. Anyway, at home porta. I had a yes. great time as always. I literally, for an undisclosed reason, took two shots in a row. Um. At eight thirty. So by. Yeah. By like nine, I was blacked which was a great time but it was okay yeah i'm not gonna say the reasoning as to why i took two shots in a row if you were there you knew why i took two shots in a row yeah um, and then i was dead by 10 p.m but it was great yeah. because i died i had a great time I and died. then by midnight i got my full eight hours because i went to bed these pants are so i literally died that night i i 
I don't even remember it all of it. I literally don't remember all of it. And yeah. there was Rosie has this really funny video of me, like me and her and her boyfriend and my boyfriend, whatever. We we're like playing like pong, and there's like a video of me, like I would throw it in, and then I would go over eat pasta, come back, throw it in. That's I would just because so I was like starving. I don't know because yeah, we had leftover food from dinner, so like yeah. everyone was eating a drug. So it was a power move. I made so much extra yeah. food, but it really was so nice. Yeah. Like honestly, it was Porta. The only thing that was missing was DQ. Shout out to you, love you, I know. and like bumping into people. Like, that's legit it. Like, but everything the else, the vibes is, were there. The best part is literally being able to go upstairs, take a shower, and go to bed. And, like, literally, like, don't have to worry about getting yeah. home. Yeah. Exactly. No Ubers. Just already home. Know, it's it's so nice to be able to, like. It's a nice switch up, but I'm ready for Porta. Me too. No, I but it ready. was so nice, though, because it's, like, I swear, it's, like, moments like that, like, when we're all in the house together, like, with our friend group, it's, like, moments like that where I take a step back and I'm just, like, oh, like, you I love You just realize how days. blessed like, you are in that yeah, moment. Yeah, like, like, I love realize, I love yeah. that. And Porta, I even get those moments, too. I am ready for Porta, honestly, but it was but just Porta nice to have that. Like, Porta, that when again. you just, like, look around, like, even, it's just so, like, even, like, when I see my group of friends, which I stay with the whole night, but even looking around and seeing, like, my other friends that I don't talk to as much, just seeing everyone have, like, a great time and, like, knowing it's all mom with people and just being, like, yeah. they're probably having the same experiences we're having right now where this is, like, and a lot of them, like, senior year, just yeah. getting to see your friends. Like, I just feel like that. It's like just taking a step back, even at Porta. It's just like this is like our time. Like, it and is. It's not even just it us. Is, like, yeah. Any seniors at Mammoth, I feel like, or even like, yeah, any se- juniors. I'm sorry, I'm not putting you in this. Seniors, like, <laughs> juniors, y'all got one more year. Yeah, y'all you got, can't you say got one more year. I don't hear it. But yeah. seniors, I just feel like when you look, like especially this year, it, like we have like what three months left. Yeah, like just look not up, even two. Not, like, it's two, two. But like I'm hoping my lease gets extended, so it's three for us. But anyway, awesome. I, I'd be anyway. so excited. Don't anyway, even get me. We're trying, yet. Sam, my landlord. If you're listening, please extend the lease <laughs> till June 5th instead of May 19th. Pretty please with sugar on top. But I just think looking around and just seeing everyone have those moments every weekend is such a beautiful thing because being able to see like just everyone in their little friend groups and just like yeah. seeing everyone like like even like, and I even sound, like, ours. No, like even like, ours. I, I just sound like a creep like saying that but like not but, like just looking around like seeing everyone like just genuinely laughing with their friend group dancing having a good time and it's just like i'm so happy that like porta is that universal experience for everyone yeah just, it's like, like that universal thing where you go and you know you're gonna have a good time every single you time just know, like you know like especially when you walk in and like we're like psychos we look up like we go on like the porta website and see who's djing so you oh, know, we know like we know when we walk in whether or not the night is gonna be good or it's gonna be eh. not that it's ever eh. there's it's some. like really never it's, there's, there's been there's a few like, nights like i can few count nights, but not that but many not, considering how often we've been never really on a friday yeah. never really never on a friday. never like, saturdays Sometimes it's an interesting crowd, just letting you guys know for the younger ones out there. Interesting crowds Saturdays. But, like, my thing is, like, I know, like, I like getting all my work done on Tuesday because then when I come home from work and school on Wednesday, I know Thursday, Friday is, No, that is so true. I was literally about to say, like, this semester, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I have senioritis or I just have a ton of work. But I've had so much work this semester, and I have been grinding during the week. Like, literally grinding so that I can have the entire weekend to spend with my friends and go out and have the best time. And, like, I get everything done now. It's just so nice that I get to do, like, I I work my ass off, and then it's, like, Friday, and it's, like, we're just blacking out for, like, like, having the best time. Like, it's so worth it. Like, that. Through day. Wednesday, I get shit done, so yeah. I can have Thursday, Friday, Saturday exactly. with my friends, and then Sunday, like sometimes I go home for dinner. Like I did, yeah. I went home this weekend to so my little baby cousin. But anyway, yeah, I just think it's so beautiful to see like everyone having those moments, it and is. like just walking in, like and just seeing everyone smile. Like it's just so fun. Like it's, it's just so a great fun. time. But. I'm excited though. But guys, yeah, we're gonna have a whole new update next week. Two porta benders, two, two days in a row. We're days. gonna have. I think Trinity may be sleeping over my house one of those. I days. am. Oh, I was so gonna excited. say that. I was gonna announce that. I am because and yeah, because yeah, we. You just want to, maybe what we'll talk about today is like the dynamic that we were talking yeah. about last week because we're already like a little short on time for the other topic we're gonna talk yeah. about maybe we'll push that till next week just I because, think, yeah yeah let's talk yeah, about it next like, week yeah because yeah we we're, talked a little bit about the friend dynamic last time but we just want to like get into like the reason like we got to the core reason as to why i've been crying for two right. weeks the and like i really think like when we were getting ready like we had like date night on saturday like it was fun but like whatever. we're not gonna go yeah. into that one but anyway I just, like, we were sitting there having, like, real conversations with each other. Yeah. And we just realized how important it is. Like, we were talking to Rosie. We were talking to Emily. Yeah. To make time for each other again. Absolutely. Because we were talking about how the dynamic really has shifted so much. And, like, it's new for everyone. Like, yeah, like... And then I think the thing that, like, upset me so much, again, not that I'm not happy for everyone, the yeah. thing that got to me so much was just, like, yes, the dynamic changed for all of us, but at the end of the day, like, the dynamic changed, and they get to go home to their boyfriends. Like, yeah. the dynamic for me, I get to go home from Porta. There's not the singing in the kitchen anymore. Like, we used to always no, sing you in know the kitchen. 
so weird about that. Like, we would, back in September, yeah. even when we first started the podcast, go listen. Yeah. <laughs> go listen. We would, like, literally. Always together. We were always, always together. And we still are. We still I literally are. see Ariana every day. Yeah. But still, it's like, I understand because it has changed. Like, it yeah. really has. But, like, we would literally come home from Porta and we would have, like, we'd be dancing and singing and, like, making chicken nuggets and, like, until, making like, taquitos. Like, until like, 3 o'clock yeah. in the morning. And it was so fun. And now it's, like, yeah. and not that it's, like, I'm again, it's Is not it, a bad did thing. Did it stop? When I saw it? No. It just, it was like a universe. The like, party doesn't because, start till I walk in and I'm bringing it back. I'm telling you, this Friday I'm bringing it back. We're <laughs> making chicken eggs. We're making taquitos. We're turning on the, and then like a big pizza pie, whatever. Oh, yeah, I always, All the I Italian songs Italian, that I don't know, yeah. that I love to learn, we're putting I, them on. Yeah, because I used to like going. sing in Italian. But like that that was the main thing. Like the dynamic yeah. changed for everyone. Not that yeah. the dynamic didn't change for me because I feel like I've learned a lot about myself. Yeah. But the thing is at the end of the night, like when it's like silent, everyone's in their room. Everyone's in their room with like. A yeah. boy, I'm by myself. Yeah. So like that's what I'm like, uh, like you yeah. know, like that's when it like, like upsets for me, me too. I'm, like, like I haven't had like been in a relationship again for like two years, and I feel like for me, like I was so used to like, what's the word? Like I was just so used to being single exactly. and being independent, and like even for me, like kind of like. The dynamic, like, changed for me, too, yeah. in a way. Like, that yeah. I'll talk to you about later, but I don't know, it did. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's but just... But I think it's also, you know, like, during new relationships, the honeymoon phase, it's such a thing. Yeah. Like, everyone's obsessed with each other, which is great. It's a beautiful thing, right? Yeah. But it's like, we can't lose out on, like, people who, like, our real, like, our friends who yeah. have been there. We can't just, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, like, make sure you make time for your friends during that exactly. transition that's, that's basically, into that's, the relationship. That's basically what we're saying today, just make time for your friends. Because yeah. we said today, we were just like, no, because even Rosie, she was saying, like, I have, like, anxiety like, being in the house like a little now because she feels like I'm never there so it's like weird for her to like come in cause, absolutely like, cause she, she was feels there, a little because yeah. she like because she was there so much last semester and now it's like oh like I'm barely like here this semester like I feel like I'm missing out yeah and it's like we decided like like t- what was it Tuesdays or Thursdays whatever day it, it was, was Tuesdays. Tuesdays yeah Tuesday nights we just agreed to make that like our night yeah just be like no boys no nothing because like Thursdays everyone's like busy or like has right. to see their boyfriend right or like we're almost like an an like if the, like this week no because like it's almost anniversary but again like we just yeah. like switch it around but it's like Oops. it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay um, kind yeah. of extra two days later no, I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding no but I'm just saying like we make like like we're just like you know what I mean like now we're just like okay like one like one day a week just to have time absolutely to, like, and just I think that's sit and be in, cho- in each other's presence even when we were getting ready for date night and it was just us girls for an hour it was such a it nice talk so though nice. it was so nice and like that the talk, talk we had was so nice because we like we're always very open and honest with each other like if I'm gonna like I'll say it like no like yeah that's I love that. That's one thing about us. I love that about us. Anytime anyone has a problem, we say it. It's done. Yeah. Whatever. It's just like... Yeah. Like, sometimes you have to, like, drag it out of me. Sometimes you have to, like, drag yeah. it out of others. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's, like, it's, it, like, takes a second. But then it's, like, no. Like, when I'm, like, telling you why I'm upset. Like, and then everyone's very good at listening and hearing. It's not, like, yeah. oh, don't get mad at that. Like, it's no. very, like... And I think it's very important to have those open conversations with your friends. Because especially, like... Because I didn't know that, like, ro- like it was bothering Rosie that she wasn't there that much. Like, no one knew that it was bothering me that I had to, like, sleep in my bed. Like, by my... Like, not sleep right. in my bed by myself. But no one knew right. that I was, like, the most upset. And I think, like, yeah. because we haven't had those, like, girls days, it hasn't come up. Yeah. But when we were sitting in my room having even that hour of just sitting there talking just as girls right all of us just like letting our feelings out and like letting everyone know like where Absolutely. it's at i think that was like a reset a little bit for our friends to be like okay like let's take a step back like we need to make time for each other like right. as a group again just because it's like it's been so like it's been hard to like especially because my work schedule is different than rosie's work schedule. Right. it's just very difficult emily like no, she goes home yeah so now like and then it's like i don't even live here exactly i'm literally in bardigan and except that- now i've literally been here no literally Trina doesn't go home I-, I don't go home i've literally I literally practically live here. Yeah. I'm always here. But I think like Friday now, like Friday morning before Porto, like I'm going to go yeah, back absolutely. to like, I'm making like the chicken soup again, crock pot chicken soup. Yeah, We're I'm spending the day together. Rosie good. switched her work day. She's going to be home with me in the morning. Like it's just going to be it. nice to wake up and just sit on the couch and watch TV. Yeah. Like it's just like, and we still have to watch the episode of Catfish. We were all going to watch Catfish. Over the Friday episode morning. with, um, I, I will. Yeah. Friday morning. The episode with, um, Antoine and Anthony, or what is it? Antoine Tony? With fat ass like Kelly Price. Fat ass Kelly Price. I have to see it anyway. But Anyways, yeah. That's, that's just really, we just want to give yeah. you like a little rundown. Um, yeah. you know, we, we just, just had to catch up with you guys. I feel like we, we did end up taking that week off and then we came back and we kind of went right into it. But it's like, we haven't you really know, just sat down and talked to you guys a little bit. Yeah. So like, I feel like it was a good you know switching yeah. gears literally moment. if you like i'm telling you if you like if your friends have boyfriends or like you don't or like even vice versa you're with your boyfriend you feel like you haven't have those conversations with your friends i miss you i miss how yeah. it was and like even even if you're even like if you're not the one single even if you're the one in the relationship and you're like oh like looking at this now like i miss oh, being I, with my I friends i did that no literally me yeah. too like i did that and i think it's so important it's, too because i think for someone that's in a relationship sometimes it's hard to see like yeah that you might be doing that so i think it's important as you know if you have a best friend that just got in a relationship or whatever or who's in one and 
never makes time for you. Like, really just tell them like how you're preface, feeling. It's not that no one makes time for me. That's not it at all. No, it's I'm not. Like, oh, I'm no, not no, saying that. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm just prepping saying. everyone. Like, I'm just prepping. If that's what you think, like, oh, Trinity just, like, drops me for, like, her boyfriend. No, no I didn't I'm, like, do that. Rosie, you guys, I did not do that. And, like, Rosie dropped me for her boyfriend. No. Like, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, like, the free nights that we have that we usually spend together. No, that's what I mean. I'm not trying to say that. No, no, no. I just didn't know they thought that. Like, the way we were wording it. No, like, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, like, we haven't had, like, like a sleep overnight. Like yeah, and so, we also like yeah. haven't really like talked like that. Like, like that. in like open we haven't and had honest deep conversation like that. Yeah, but it was like refreshing, yeah. especially like yeah. But well, well, this has been a long. It took a long turn. Time, we were gonna talk we about gotta, something else. Yeah, I know. We I know. Which I like that. But next week we'll get into more about um, cheating. Cheating. Yeah. Because I really wanted to talk about that because I've been cheated on literally like 50 times. Um, and I just, you know, I'd like to talk yeah. about that. Kind of give your opinion exactly, on it as yeah. well. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about next week. Also, we'll give you an update on our two-day port of bender. Oh, so and yeah, very exciting stuff. Yeah, so exciting. so sorry for my high water pants on YouTube if you're seeing it. My mom's I like the them, drive. honestly. I but, think the hair looks great. Outfit's looks great. I didn't get to straight my hair today. It's fine. Anyway, anyway guys, if you're listening, compliment somebody because that made my whole fucking day. Absolutely. That made my whole day. But yep. anyway, guys, girls, compliment someone. That made my whole day. But anyways, follow us on Instagram at the Love Line. Mm-hmm. Send us any topics you guys may have, and that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's, <laughs> it, for the that's it. Imagine if we end it. That's, that's it. it. Anyway, no. so see you guys we next week. See you next week on the Love Line. Bye. Bye.